смотри, мама что даст. Вау! Это от бабулечки. От бабулечки, да, пирамидка у нас из России. Так. Где? Today is Wednesday, so that means Tiago went for his motorbike ride. And we're just hanging out with Victoria. I just gave her this pyramid. It was brought to her by my mother. Maybe, maybe she was like about six months. She just brought it and she said, you know, it's a wooden toy and it's ecological and it doesn't have any mm, like chemical paint. It's a specific paint for babies. So one day she'll be big enough to figure out how to put the, these things together. And we forgot about it. It was just somewhere in the bag and I was just unpacking yet again one another bag and I saw this pyramid and I was just giving it to her and you know all the memories just floating in my head and <sighs> sadness and gratefulness for the mother I had sadness that I don't have her anymore here with me but gratefulness that that she was with me for 28 years of my life and for almost a year with Victoria, so she got to see her granddaughter. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm happy with my hair color, my orange hair color, I'm very happy with it. If you only could smell how my kitchen smells like right now, it is so good. I'm cooking uh, shrimps with garlic and coriander and lemon. I mean, just, just the sound of all of those ingredients makes my mouth water. Look at that beauty. Mm. Seriously, this is one of my favorite ways to eat uh, shrimps. And of course with salad. So it's a quite a healthy lunch for us today. And I, I just cannot wait. I'm, I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit because I don't like them very hot. And all that juices. You can just dip your bread in it, and it's like, mwah! goodness. We are ready. So the day has come, and we're packing up to go to Spain. Uh, we packed most of the things yesterday, and today is just lost bits and pieces, but it still takes forever. I even put all the uh, the uh, little reminder here of the things we need not to forget. And we're almost done, the car is loaded, so we first head to Lisbon, drop Victoria off with the grandma, and there we go to Spain for the whole weekend, just both of us, just me and Tiago. We haven't done it actually since, well, uh, surely before Victoria was born. So yeah, that would be the first time we're actually all the baby together, just, to, the, just the two of us. Super excited. We dropped Victoria a couple of hours ago at Doris in Lisbon and now we're on the way. So two hours down the line. Yep. So still three hours to go. My my ass is already flat and it's just been two hours. <laughs> That's a lot of flatness. <laughs> yes. So we're just, uh, we will stop in the next petrol station to have coffee. Pee. Pee. Essentially. Physiological necessities. Exactly. So it's like about 10 kilometers now to go to Spain. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Mm, not sure about the eight, but we we'll surely get there. Yeah, so basically we're just about to cross the border to Spain. That's my first time. I've never been in Spain, so... Not my first time. <laughs> this is my Spain virginity will be broken. Yes. I popped my cherry a long time ago. <laughs> been there many times. There you go, and the language changed. Da 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 it's funny to see how the language changed. It's like similar, but not, not the same. 
Yeah, yeah trees are different even. Look at all these endless vines. And do you want to have a plantation like that? Yeah. What, to keep you drunk all year? Yeah, for example. To, to keep me hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hydrated for sure. There's a lot of water in wine. Solar panels. Huge amount of solar panels. Look at that. like an hour and a half since we're driving in Spain and it's just endless fields and fields and fields of stuff some of them are green some of them are yellow like that some of them are green like that an infinity of nothingness exactly dude no restaurants nothing is on the way no petrol stations you just go and drive and drive and drive nothing is happening you just observe what they're growing some vines some olive trees some wheat some wheat, wheat. wheat. some wheat, some flowers and the solar stations <laughs> growing some solar stations some solar panels yeah but i wonder when we're gonna see something like a city or a town or we just see them like from far away somewhere there okay i can see the town i can see the city 137 kilometers to Cordoba, and that's a proper city yeah i think by the time we get there it will be like 11 o'clock at night well, by the time we get there we need fuel way before that i'm running on fumes again really so you need, so you need to search for petrol station then yeah the landscape has changed and now we have mountains everywhere mountains region. Tiago is completely exhausted. 499 kilometers from Lisbon. Yeah, so basically like 600 kilometers today. Today. Until now. Yeah, so that's a lot. And it's actually already getting dark and I'm so hungry, I'm starving. Yay! Glass of vino some maybe paella or something else, I don't know, whatever will be in the menu if we get to eat something in the restaurant, unless we end up McDonald's. In, at McDonald's in Spain. I wouldn't mind some McDonald's, at least I know what I'm getting. <laughs> I would really like to try cuisine, I, I know that Tiago doesn't like the uh, Spanish cuisine. I He's... like Spanish cuisine, it's just that Spain has this horrible tendency of disappointing you whenever you enter in a restaurant. Yeah, I just, I, I never had experience like that and maybe I just need to get one to, to agree with him. Yeah. Yeah, so of course I want to, like, my first time in the country, of course I want to try things. See something different. What? Uh, you can try. I'll stick with what I know, because I know it's not great. So yeah, it's one hour difference, nine hour, nine uh, in the evening in Portugal and ten o'clock here. And I wonder until what time the restaurants are open. So yeah, most probably we'll get... Yeah, because you gotta check in, put your luggage. You won't be out until 11-ish. Yeah, well, today's Friday though. Considering that it's Friday, maybe they work until 1, but that's if we are extremely lucky, which I don't believe we are in that case. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Finally found the hotel. It took us forever because the car wouldn't drive there. Like the GPS would show us that uh, we couldn't go there, and we spent like half an hour just searching it on foot. Now we're finally here. The room is quite tiny, but it's this hotel is actually is a palace. Like it used to be a palace before, and uh, now they made it an, into a hotel. Hence the style. It's uh, from old. It actually feels old. It's alright, like I'm really sweating. It's 40 degrees in the in the city. I'm trying to switch on the aircon. I think it's on, but I need to increase it because it's just deadly hot. So here is our tiny room. Got the TV there. And Andalusia style room. So 
here we are finally already ordered almost midnight and we're just starting the ham is completely gone and this is a traditional dip I'm doing drugs gin and tonic cigarillo or cigarillo is it Happen. We finally are sitting down and having something in our stomachs. <laughs> That's already making us so much happier. Hmm? Yes, and you peed already. Yeah, for sure. Your main dish arrived. What is that? It's a black pig. Here? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. More or less, okay? Yeah, thank you, thanks. <laughs> so I'm having lamb with couscous. And we're having, of course, a beautiful wine. Where's my uh, fork? Run away. You got a knife? Fork? Ah, oh, it's gone with your plate. Ah. So it's 2 30 a.m. We finally <laughs> made it into the room. And I'm just looking at the window and thinking, it's incredible how the Spanish people just don't sleep and you look at the window and you still sleep. You either see or hear people walking. And we're pissed. Yeah, that's my husband who is completely pissed. And now we're going to bed to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning because we have the, only one day to one have a tourist attraction. I am not the one who drank a bottle of vino by herself. That's right. I drank a bottle of wine by myself, but can you see on... Look at me and look at this guy and tell me who is drunk. She's just better at faking it. Oh, nice. That breeze is... Oh, it is good. Oh. Huh? You want to sleep here in the window? Oh, let me open this window. It is so hot, seriously. Yeah, like look, the AC is not the, working The properly. neighbors in the front can see the whole action. Look at I'm that. I'm sure they appreciate that they talk like in the 2.30 in the morning. We're no. just talking here and screaming. N not that there's going to be any action because... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't matter what action, we are just screaming in the window. Yeah. So I'm sure. Let's close the window and let's go back to, back to bed. You're just pretending you're uh, not drunk because you're looking at the camera. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what it is. So we'll see you at 8 o'clock in the morning when we wake up. Wait a